As usual, I've got some fuzzy, not so great images here, but again, the image is just to make the point. Prediabetes and diabetes cause arterial plaque. And arterial plaque causes heart attack, the number one killer, stroke, the number one disabler, dementia, rapidly becoming the number one disabler, as well as some other things, blindness and kidney disease and erectile dysfunction. So those are all really bad items. We know what causes them plaque, and we know what causes plaque, elevated blood sugar, prediabetes, diabetes. This graph shows that the higher the, di uh, the blood sugar levels, the faster we develop plaque. Now, what's interesting and frustrating and tragic is that so few of us know what's going on with our blood sugar and our ability to metabolize carbs. That's even more tragic because it's not that difficult or expensive to do. I'm going to talk just briefly about two of the ways to, to find out. One is the oral glucose tolerance test. The estimates are more than 70% of people with plaque have insulin resistance. That's actually a a gross underestimate and it's based on the fact that we're not diagnosing it very well. We're, we're diagnosing it based on A1C and fasting blood glucose. Once you start looking at OGTT or a Kraft insulin survey, the other 30% of these people become obvious that yes, they have carb metabolism problems as well. A1C misses up to half of the patients with insulin resistance. It shouldn't be used alone. Unfortunately, that's the standard of medicine today. So anyone with known plaque needs at least an OGTT or preferably even a Kraft insulin survey. Let's talk for just a minute about uh, some of the numbers and results associated with, uh, with an OGTT. If you have a one hour OGTT, oral glucose tolerance test of 150 or more, you've got 13 times the risk of full-blown diabetes over the next seven to eight years. A um, two-hour value of 120 to 139, and you see this a lot, especially among 50 and 60-year-olds, you, you've, you've only got about a third of your beta cell function uh, remaining. Now, you may have significant, your beta cells may be putting out significant insulin, but the function is not working. You've, in other words, your liver and muscle cells are resisting that insulin. Maybe that's getting a little technical. I'll back off on that for just a minute. I mentioned the Kraft insulin uh, survey or prediabetes profile. It was developed by a fellow named Robert Kraft. It's like the OGTT except slightly different, slightly more detailed. With the OGTT, with both of them, you fast for eight hours prior to, ta to taking the test. With the OGTT, you take a challenge with 75 grams with glucose. With the Kraft prediabetes profile, you do uh, 100 grams. With the insulin, I mean, with the OGTT, you do one hour, you take blood right before the glucose at one hour and two hours. With the Kraft Insulin Survey, you take blood sugar right before the, you take the glucose, then at one, two, three, and four hours. The other difference with the Kraft Insulin Survey is that you get an insulin value during each of those four blood draws. That's very, very helpful in terms of telling us, are you actually producing insulin or have your, have your insulin, have your beta cells just given out? These are not expensive tests. We can get an OGTT for one to 200 bucks, and we can get a full-blown Kraft diabetes profile for 200 bucks. What you find out in terms of your carbohydrate metabolism is just critical based on this. And unfortunately, that critical information, less than 5% of people that have insulin resistance actually know this information about their body. So if you've made it this far, thank you again for your interest. So I'm very excited to announce we now have a membership page. Now, what is that? That's the one place where you can go and access all of our digital products. It starts off with a few free things like a lot of infographics, which help you understand the basics of insulin resistance, uh, cardiovascular inflammation, and other key concepts on how to prevent heart attack and stroke. 
The next free item is the intro and first chapter of the book that we're writing on plaque. And the standards of medicine just aren't doing very well right now in terms of the number one killer and disabler, plaque. We don't do a good job of, of measuring it. We don't do a good job of um, monitoring it. And there are better ways. So that's what this book is all about. Again, go in and get a free a look at the intro and, and the first chapter. And if you've purchased the cardiovascular inflammation and IR courses, thank you so much for doing that. Uh, you purchased those at a time before we had them totally cleaned up, and we've cleaned them up now. And they're available for you right there on the membership page. Hit the link below, register, and go in and take a look. Look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.